So now that the market has taken a bit of a tumble, it might make sense to convert to stable coins and then you might as well earn some yield on your stable coins whilst you're at it. So to get this going, we need to press on launch app and then on the vaults tab, we click on the stable part here, which will bring us to all of the stable um, yield farms that we can take advantage of. So as you can see here, we have USDC, USDT, MSOL, SOL, MSOL, SOL, wrapped FTT, FTT. So I'm going to go here and click arrange by yearly APY. And we can see the top stablecoin yield farm that we can take advantage of is the AC, USD, USDC LP. And this is built on top of, and this is the Sabre LP farm. We look down, most of these are going to be Sabre. I think we have Orca here as well. Orca, Saber, Saber. So you're getting 19.64% yearly APY on this, which is uh, a, a decent amount. I ideally would like to go for 20% or more, but with current market conditions, it's really going to be hard to find that, especially given the fact that a lot of people have converted to stable coins and now they're going to be stable coin yield farming. But to enter this farm, what you're going to need to do is get AC, USD, USDC, LP tokens. And we'll do that by going to uh, Saber. So I'm just going to connect my wallet and let's deposit $50 worth into here. So what's nice about Saber is that all you have to do is deposit one side of whatever the LP is and it'll automatically do the swaps for you to make sure that it's equal. So I'm just going to confirm this deposit and then I can press approve. And so once I get these LP tokens, I just need to head back over to Tulip, deposit them, and then I can start earning that 19% uh, APY number. What's nice about using Tulip is the fact that it will auto recompound the farm for you, whilst Sabre, if you're farming through here, will require you to claim the Sabre tokens every day and then go ahead and sell them. Let's just check whether or not I actually got these LP tokens. There we go, I can deposit my LP tokens. So I'm going to deposit the max amount and then I'll press approve. Let me just see. Yeah, so has been taken out of my wallet and so is this. I'll press approve. Transaction has been sent. The farms on Tulip get recompounded every 10 minutes. So if I come back in 10 minutes time, we can start seeing that I've actually earned something. So I'm starting to earn this 19.5% yearly APY. Um, AB, USD, USDC LP is also earning 18.02%. Uh, you can get 13% on Sol, 6.92% on Serum, which is decent. Uh, this is a good pool to look at, especially since the fact that um, if you want to stake Solana, you're only getting like 6 or 7% APY. So you know, it would make sense to unstake and then go into one of these pools if you want to earn extra yield. So a couple of things that I wanted to note about actually going ahead and using Tulip is the fact that they've got fees. So they've got a 1% controller fee, and a 3% platform fee. So you're getting 4% charged on, on rewards. So any profit that you do make um, from Tulip, so any profits that you do make on Tulip, 4% of that will be taken away and which is fair enough, like Tulip needs to make money itself as well. And that 4% really isn't that lot in the grand scheme of things. If we take a look at Sunny, for example, you can probably get higher yields here on stable coins. Uh, if we take AC, USD, USDC, LP tokens, for example, I mean, you're getting 17% APY. I think there are more stable coin yields above that. So like 20% APY here. So the thing that I don't like too much about Sunny is the fact that you're going to have to claim your tokens every day, sell them off, and then re-enter this Sabre pool to get LP token, as well as the fact that you're getting charged a 16% performance fee when you're using Sunny. So I made a little calculator um, just to try and figure out whether or not it would actually be worth it to use Sunny. So we're using $100 as the initial amount that you're going to be depositing into either Tulip or Sunny. So the AC, USD, USDC LP tokens is currently paying out 17% on Sunny. Uh, that exact same farm is currently paying at 19.22% on Tulip. This is the amount of yield you would get at the end of the year. I mean, that's assuming the um, the APY is stable. This is the performance fee, and this is the amount of fee that you would actually be paying in dollars. And then this, and then this is your 
uh, end of year value. So you're making about four dollars more using Tulip, and and you have to re manually recompound it yourself with Sunny, which is quite annoying and it can be time consuming as well. And the fact that you're getting less yield, it doesn't really make sense for the most part. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.